why is it that everywhere we look, we are preached to about the value of mediocrity? It's like everywhere you go, you are told you should fit in or go with the crowd. On the surface, we may be told that we should try to excel. But in action, it is really the middle ground where we are rewarded. At least by society. Think about it. At work, you are encouraged to take risks. But then are punished when you do. Educators tell you to challenge yourself. But they are resentful if you succeed. And you are degraded if you fail. Even in school, if you try something different from the crowd, you are teased. You are bullied if you are smart, called a nerd if you are into music, or trash if you are interested in the wrong things whatever they are. This drive towards mediocrity seems to be getting even worse lately. We are told to cheer for the working man and hate the businessman. You are called a hero for being a small part of a big group, but called down for going against the collective. It is everywhere, the media, politics and in the workplace. And if you dare not to be normal, you desire for something more, you are constantly ripped apart for it. People government and organizations will demonize you at any chance they get. Is it jealousy, or something more? Excelling is made to sound like a bad thing. But, for those who wish for more, those who risk it all, the rewards are measurable. Luckily, you can experience those rewards, by daring to be different. If you are willing to step outside the walls, and dare to be the best, incredible experiences await. Just remember, the rewards are not going to come from the outside, at least not at first. The rewards come from within. But the rewards that come from the inside are the most valuable. An extraordinary life means different things to different people. For you, it could mean great financial wealth. For others, it could be recognition. Some people may want to help others. No one is going to tell me that Mother Teresa was satisfied to just go along with everyone. She wanted to change the world. She dared to be different. It doesn't matter what it is that you want. You need to pick your own path. It's not enough to just be a part of something, to follow the crowd. You really need to go for the gusto. It's not that there is anything wrong with you being a part of something bigger than yourself. But. If you want an extraordinary life, you need to aim to be the best, and to make your own choices. It's going to take guts. Don't expect people to see your vision and just get on board. Even the ones, who tell you to your face that they are in your corner, may secretly want you to fail. They may not even know they are doing it. Why? They want to keep you in that desirable mediocrity. They want to keep you the same. If they don't love you, they don't want you to get ahead. If they do want you, they don't want you to get hurt. The middle is safe. It's only natural. Nature abhors a vacuum. That means that in nature, extremes are not permitted. Everything moves towards the common middle, a balance. Societies are the same way. They long for everyone to be alike and will subconsciously do everything in their power to keep it that way. It's not the individuals in society that feel this way. It is the society as a whole. And, many of the elites know it is very profitable to keep it that way. They have been using mediocrity as a tool for thousands of years. When you dare to be different, you are stepping outside of the societal norms. You are daring to be something more. If you want to break free, it is up to you. It is not going to be easy, and don't expect much reward from others along the way. Your reward will be in your experiences but dare to be different, and let yourself excel. There is room at the top for you. There is an opportunity to crawl out from the masses who only want mediocrity. The rewards for being sane are immediate. They come from all around you. But the rewards for being the best are so much more. Dare to be different. Dare to be the best.